Welcome to the new Route Genie driver application tutorial. In this video, we will break down the most essential functions of the new driver app. Each company will be provided with a unique company code. Enter the code here when prompted. Once the company code is entered, enter the username or user ID and password provided by your company and tap Login. You are now logged in to your profile. You'll notice you have several menu items available. You can tap Today's Shifts to see any scheduled shifts with start and end times for the day of. You can tap the Start Shift button to begin your shift. The Future Shifts option will display any upcoming shifts for the coming days. You can click on any shift to see what trips are scheduled, including the client to be picked up, the pickup times, and locations. By switching to the trip view, you can see the sequence of pickups and drop-offs with estimated timestamps and client names. Your shift start and end times are displayed at the top of the display. To begin the workday, go to Today's Shift and tap Start Shift. If you do this before the start time listed, the system will confirm that you want to start the shift early. In this case, you will be prompted to input information based on the settings of your company, such as plate number or vehicle ID. Once you input the information, tap Confirm. You are now ready to receive your trips from dispatch. You may need to wait for approval of your start time and login before you begin your shift. You will be prompted to list vehicle mileage and any other pop-ups your company requires. Confirm all checklist items and attest them with your signature, and you are ready to begin your day. When online, you can view the status of your shift on the side menu. The End Shift button is available here, and you can still check your future schedule. To return to the online view and begin your work, tap the green Shift in Progress button. Under the History tab, you can see your completed shifts. Just change the date range to view past schedules, which will display the number of trips completed and the start and end time for each shift. Tap Download Map at the bottom of the side menu to operate online with GPS navigation. Then, find your state and hit the corresponding Download button. Throughout the day, all trip prompts will be displayed in the online navigation screen. You can hide pop-ups by tapping Hide in the top right corner, or make them reappear by tapping the blue book icon in the top bar. To view orders, tap the orders icon on the bottom menu. To view more details on an order, just tap on it. You can also switch to Trip View to display the pickup and drop-off sequence. In order to start your trip and indicate that you are on your way to pick up the client, tap the blue In Route button. The system will give you multiple route options with distances and duration estimates. Choose your preferred option, tap the Start Navigation button, and the system will begin directing you with visual and audio cues. While in this view, you can tap on the map to view settings, where you can toggle audio on and off, choose night mode, and multiple other options. Depending on your company settings, if you have wait time applied to a trip, you can tap the Go Now button to begin the trip early. The system will ask you to confirm that you want to get to the location early and recommend that you contact the client. Once you have arrived within the pickup area location, the loading pop-up will appear automatically after 30 seconds within the pickup range circle. If you want to open the pop-up manually, you can tap the pulsing blue button in the bottom right area of the map. In this particular simulated trip, there are two clients to be picked up as a multi-load trip. You can confirm this by going to the Orders tab on the bottom menu and by viewing the trip view. Back in the navigation screen, with the loading pop-up displayed, you have three options to choose from for each client. Call out, no show, and loaded. Let's load Jon Snow by clicking the blue loaded button. As you can see, we still have to load Stan Martin. In this case, we will report a no show. 
Whenever a no-show is reported, Dispatch needs to approve it. Your application will display a waiting for approval message until Dispatch approves the report. The dispatcher has the ability to tell you to keep waiting or to confirm the no-show. In this case, the dispatcher has selected the keep waiting option and has specified a five minute wait time. If the client shows up, you can click the loaded button. At this point, the system will automatically begin taking you to your next point in the sequence, which could be a single drop-off location for both clients or multiple locations. Choose your route from the listed options and tap Start Navigation. If you lose internet connection during a route or any other issues arise, don't worry. The dispatcher can fix it on their end including routing and missed prompts, like loaded or no-show prompts. Once you navigate to the drop-off location, a green pulsing button will appear in the bottom right of the navigation view. Tap the button when you are ready to drop off the passenger, and then tap complete. You will have the option to add comments and add a signature. Then tap the send button and your trip is completed. The system will then recommend the next trip for you. If the dispatcher needs to make a live dispatching request, you will need to accept the trip in a separate pop-up. When the new order pop-up appears, tap the view button. In this case, the trip starts in about 14 minutes, but you can go now if you're ready. If the dispatcher cancels a trip, you will be notified on your application quickly and easily. Just tap got it and move on. If the dispatcher sends you a message, it will show as a pop-up. You can reply in the pop-up, or you can click the message icon in the top bar. You can text back or use voice recognition, like so. Hello. If you have a private pay client, the requirement for payment will be evident in the order. If the patient has to pay you when you arrive, the system will prompt you to collect payment. In this case, after tapping the loaded button, the private pay pop-up will appear where you can choose to accept payment at pickup or drop-off. In this simulation, we will choose pickup and tap OK. Then, tap the corresponding order and choose the correct payment method, credit card, voucher, or check. Cash payment is also an option if your company chooses. Once the payment is collected, you can proceed to the route. Under the order view, you will see the updated payment information. Check your history at the end of the day by going to the History tab. You can view the trips you completed with client names, locations, distance, and the total mileage. Under the Profile view, you can add assistance or attendance. The client needs to go to your profile, hit the plus button, and then input their credentials. You will also need to download the checklist from previous days for inspection purposes. You can do that by filling out the date range and tapping the download button. You can also log out from your profile view or by using the side menu. At the end of your shift, tap the yellow End Shift button in the side menu. The system will prompt you to complete the checklist again and sign. Once completed, your shift is ended. Your company can give you the privilege to change the route sequence if necessary. If that's the case, you can do so by going to Trip View and tap the green Edit Route button in the top right. You will then be able to rearrange the route as needed. Your changes will be made and then you can tap the Save button. At this point, the system will automatically prompt you for your next trip. If your company is utilizing the availability feature, you will be able to enter your availability using the availability tab in the side menu. In the availability calendar, the green days are days you can work and the black days are the days you can't. To make a change, tap the yellow edit availability button in the top right. In the edit view, you can mark yourself busy the whole day or just for a period of time during the day. As always, thank you for your time and thank you for choosing Route Genie for your NEMT and paratransit software needs.